Hello everybody, this is St. Lanka and Sons Toys. I know this is a reissue or re-release, whatever you want to call it, but uh, we didn't have this because me and the boys, we didn't start really collecting like we do now <laughs> uh, until like a little over a year ago. It's crazy how much everything has grown, but uh, I wanted to do a review on Super Boo. Uh, He's really cool. I wanted to buy him when we first started collecting, but he was so expensive. Uh, I really was holding out to hopefully get him as a re-release. He's got the same box art as pretty much all the other Dragon Ball Z uh, standard uh, releases. It's not an event exclusive, of course. You get the box art on the back, some super posing and modeling. He does come with an extra head for Good Boo or Majin Boo with the uh, little key effect. And he has some more portraits on the side. And we're going to get him out and do uh, some height measurements and articulation. Try to get a little bit better at this. And then when I get my new equipment in pretty soon, then I'll be able to take a whole lot better videos. So I'm going to pause it real quick and get him out of the package. Alright, so we got Super Boo out of the box. And he comes with, like we said, he's got Majin Boo or Did Boo's head right there. Let me see if I can get out of the shadow. <laughs> I'll hold it like this, I guess. And he's got a little key effect right there, which is really cool. He's got two heads for Super Boo right here. He's got a pointy fingered hand, he's got a curled finger two open blast effect type hands and then we got the two fist hands pretty decent spread of accessories can't really ask for too much more considering what we get with super boo i know when he first came out uh, when i was watching reviews and stuff he was considered one of the best figures that they had made at that time as far as like articulation and sculpt and everything else. So let's see what we got going on here. He is about... Let me get a little bit closer. He's about a little over, about seven and a quarter inches tall it looks like. Let me see if I can get a better measurement. Uh. Yeah, about seven and a half, actually, to the top of his head. And to the top of his little antenna, he's almost eight inches. And let's see. As far as, like, articulation goes, try to get here in a better position. His legs go all the way forward, which is really cool. They go, wow. Now that is pretty awesome. You can really get into some good poses like that. I see why he was considered one of the best ones. As far as going... <laughs> Dang. Yeah, look at that. He can do the full-on splits. Now, we got our head articulation as well. He can look around really well. Really nice. His arms really good range there we go yeah and then for his elbow more than 90 he's really smooth very fluid i like the way this guy moves and he's got let's see pop the head off let me get a little better hold on it it's just on a ball peg there it works well. It actually looks like double ball peg. Let's get his head back on. Have to use both hands. Now his uh, his chest area he goes back pretty far forward, about as much as you could probably need. Then as far as side to side, wow, look at that. And he still looks good while doing it. So he's got very good range of motion. 
Very good. Really like the way this guy works. He's going to look awesome in our detail. Probably going to put him up there with... Well, I don't know. We'll probably put him with Super Saiyan 3 Goku for now until we get a Kid Buu. Really want a Kid Buu. And, unfortunately, we got all the SDC, SDCC event exclusives this year. But the Majin Buu. Unfortunately, we missed out on that one. And we did get the New York Comic Con Broly as well. He's going to be on the way. So we have a lot of stuff coming. Really excited. Let's try to swap out some stuff real quick and then put him on the turntable a little closer. Oh yeah, his hands came off really easily. And his butterfly joints work really well as, as well. Look a little nasty in the back, but his sculpt and design is really nice. Let's see. Try to put a different hand on him. I think we're going to display him with that head. I th he looks all gangsta. The pink gangsta super boo. <laughs> all right. Alrighty, so we got him on the turntable. Try to get it to him a little closer. And actually, he was able to use his the key blast for the antenna for Goku on him. It pegged right into his finger. He looks really awesome. Really nice sculpt work. All the joints work really well. He does have a toe hinge as well. Of course, those are they can be useful. They can be a little difficult to, to pose as well if you're using them. Most of our figures, I try to figure out an interesting way to stand them up. But yeah, he looks awesome. Really glad we got this guy. I don't think that they could do too much better considering the price point. I believe right now he's still on Big Bad Toy Store for like 74 bucks plus shipping and taxes. But you could also do like, um, if you set up an account with them, you can do like a pile of loot and ship like several figures all at one time. They hold them up to like 90 days. So that's a really convenient thing. I get a lot of stuff from them. But I also get a lot of stuff from P Bandai as well because that's about the cheapest that you can get it. Other than like Omni Omni or some other stores overseas or even here. You can also check out USA Gundam USA. I really like this guy. He looks awesome. We're gonna try out the yelling face next. Alright, well, swapped out to the yelling face. Also swapped out to the open palm hands. They are kind of difficult for my big fingers to peg them in due to his gloves. Or his, uh, his little wrist, uh, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say now. But I did notice a little speck. It's kind of hard to see it. There's a little bit of blue paint on his lip from where they painted his tongue. And don't worry, everybody, I'm going to get a better camera. <laughs> uh, that's one of the things I'm going to get, as well as a um, laptop and camcorder. But uh, that's the only thing that I've noticed so far that I was a little frustrated about. There's a little bit of blue paint right up here. If I could get the... Let me see. I'm just going to stop this. Try and get it to focus. Nope. That's why I need a better camera instead of using just my phone. <laughs> Been spending all our money on figures this year and displays. But yeah, I'm still happy with him. I couldn't ask for a, a better Super Boo. Really glad we finally got him. I'm gonna get him posed up in there with our other figures and our Detoff and take a final picture. And let's see what we get. I think I'm going to put him with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And I'm going to get better at scripting this as well, everyone. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is how I decided to pose him with the original head that came along with him. But, 
Got him in there in our uh, our final battle from the uh, Boo Saga with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm going to put Super Boo up here with Piccolo and Majin Vegeta. And we got the then exclusive uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku that's going to go up here. And we need to get an ultimate Gohan with the orange gi from the Boo Saga. And hopefully we'll get a Kid Boo and some Vegetas to put in here pretty soon. I'm trying to stick with the actual figures from the saga that they're from. But yeah, happy to have him and all the rest of our figures. Oops. Oh, I almost fell over. Uh, the toys, the boys, uh, <laughs> toy box. But yeah, I'm liking. And this was a unscripted video. So, we can get better at this. Really loving our collection. The boys are loving their Gundams that they've been getting. At some point, I'm going to start collecting Gundams as well. We're going to have to get a bigger house, though. But, uh, once we get that done, I'm going to get the, uh, the metal builds. I'm going to teach the boys how to actually build their Gundams and make them the high-end ones. I think they'll really appreciate that. They love Lego so much, and they they play back here and do everything in this room, and they've taken care of it just like a responsible adult. Couldn't ask for two better signs. So that's Super Boo, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. I will get better at it, and the boys will help me with Perunga. <laughs> I don't know how that video will go. I've heard he's very difficult to get out of the box. So, everyone have a great day. God bless everyone. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye, everybody.